Hello and welcome to this quick video. This is a follow-up to one that I did, that actually released, I think, at the weekend. Now, this video was about how I had moved the electronics from a broken model into a new set of foam, and I missed something. And that missing something caused the maiden flight to go very badly. I'd actually managed to make it so that the prop was turning the wrong way. It wasn't The prop wasn't reversed, so it wasn't trying to fly back in my face, as somebody thought it was, but it actually meant that the prop was producing a fraction of the thrust it normally needed, so it didn't get into the air. Now, there were some great suggestions on that video for why don't you produce a checklist for when you are either building or repairing a model that you can use to make sure that you have done everything. And thinking about it, that's a really good idea because the issue that I had with that particular build was because unfortunately I got dragged into the issue with the DJI uh, HD FPV system losing the ability to display the on-screen display. Oh, and thank you very much uh, to somebody who sent me the link of where it shows you the diode that's probably broken in that air unit that stops the UART uh, working so that the on-screen display actually stops. You can remove that diode and everything goes back to working. For those of you who are interested, I'll put a link down below, but thank you to the person who sent me that. But I got completely distracted and went completely down that rabbit hole and forgot to do the basics. Now, if you are like me, then you use a lot of things like post-it notes. I have a number of these on my desk. Uh, post-it notes are where I scribble things that I need to remember on, and they tend to be stuck either onto the laptop on the build desk or kind of stuck in the um, battery base, typically where they'll live. And I'll write things on here of, you know, like calibrate compass or whatever it is I need to be need to do before I can fly it. However, there have been two instances over the past 12 months where I've got into trouble. One was the one that we just talked about, where I got completely absorbed by a DJI Air Unit on-screen display issue. Looks like the Air Unit itself, uh, like I say, actually had a problem with a voltage spike. And then the other one was a friend of mine asked me to help him set up iNav, and it was done over a number of sessions, and it was hard to remember exactly where I'd left everything. So... I created this thing here. This is the version 1.0 of my model building repair checklist. Now this is really aimed at fixed wings rather than multi-rotors, uh, but I decided that it, this was a handy thing not only for the people who are asking, but potentially for myself as well. Now you can see here it's kind of set up to be in four different things so there's the post building repair checklist of so the basic airframe just making sure that physically everything is okay um, then we have things like the post building repair checklist radio and receiver setup obviously if it's a repair and it's been working fine there's probably nothing that you need to do on the radio if the radio settings were good then the top right hand corner we have the post building repair checklist for the flight controller and fpv uh, this is a very very summary section here of extra things and then finally, because I had a bit of space, there's this thing on the bottom right-hand corner, pre-launch checklist for the field. And that's just to remind you to do all of your standard checks, you know, do things like your high five, that you can arm it, that the correction is in the right direction and do all that stuff to give you the best possible chance of you throwing it in the air and it not nose diving into the ground. Big thing at the bottom is a reminder to only fly when you and the model are ready. I'm sure many of us have had the experience where you go to the field you don't feel quite ready or something doesn't quite work right on the model, but you kind of think, oh, it'll be fine. Famous last words and you start flying it and something horrible happens. So hopefully this is going to be interesting. Now, I need to say a massive thank you to a number of Patreons who helped me with this. I have had several versions of this over the past week since it was suggested. And I need to say thank you to Simeon, Steve, Charles, Richard, Timothy, Ken and Neil who came back with suggestions and some really good suggestions. The idea with this is that it isn't supposed to be a complete list of everything you need to check. I wanted it to be a single side of A4 that was just there to catch all the common gotchas that I personally have seen and that the patrons who I 
had asked, had seen, and got caught out with as well. There's enough room on here for you to scribble on other things that you need to check and reminders. I'm going to now print one of these and keep it with the model. And that way, then whenever I get into trouble, uh, I can kind of just, um, as I'm building, I can just tick things off. And things that haven't been ticked off, I know that I've got left to do. So hopefully it's useful to you. Thanks again for those of you that suggested it. Particular thank you to all those Patreons who helped me refine the list. If you can think of other uses or maybe other lists like this that we need in the hobby, happy to take a look at it and produce one that helps everybody. Thank you for spending your time today watching that video. You can find me in all the usual places on social media. And if you're trying to learn about a subject, then check out the playlist. All of my videos are organized into easy to follow playlists that if you're trying to learn a topic, will take you from the basics right the way through to some pretty advanced stuff.